This guide gives you a few ideas on what to do if you find an app stops opening on your Fire TV stick. So say for instance, I'm gonna use this app as an example here. When I go into it, the screen just goes black and then it just comes back out to uh, the main menu here. So first things first, what I would try is grab your remote control and restart your fire stick. So to do this, just press and hold the play pause button whilst pressing and holding the middle button on the remote control until this message appears on the middle of the screen. There you go, it says your Fire TV Stick 4K is powering off. So let it power off and let it power back on again. So, and then try the app once more. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video while the Fire TV Stick's just restarting and come back to it when it's restarted. So there we go, the Fire TV stick has now restarted. So uh, let's just try that app again. So I've highlighted the app. Okay, go into it. And yes, it's actually fixed it. But if it hadn't fixed it, then the next thing to do is to press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control until this menu appears, then let go, and then go across to settings. Once settings highlighted, press the middle button on the remote control. Go across to applications. Once applications is highlighted, press the middle button on the remote control, and then go down to manage installed applications. Press the middle button on the remote control once that's highlighted, and then we want to find that particular app on our Fire TV stick. So let's find it, there it is, that one there. Once you've highlighted it, press the middle button on the remote control, okay? And first thing is we want to just check the permissions. So go into permissions there and just make sure that storage says allow. Okay, if it doesn't say allow, if it says deny, then just press the middle button on the remote control and that'll change that to allow. Then press the back button and if we go to full stop, so let's just go to full stop there, just to stop the application. And then we go to clear cache. So once clear cache is highlighted, press the middle button on the remote control. Now that will just clear the cache. It won't clear any important data. So let's just give it another try. Okay, so launch application. And there you go, it's fixed. So what we need to do is if it's still not working, let's just go back into settings. Okay, and then the next thing we need to do is to go to clear data. Now, when we hit clear data, this will remove any login information, any saved information for that app. So effectively, it will probably start up as a new app. Okay, so let's just highlight clear data, press the middle button on the remote control, press it again just to confirm. Okay, and then go up to launch application, press the middle button on the remote control, and there we go, it's launching as if it's a new app. So it says, allow Explore to access photos, media and files on your device. So I would say allow to that. Okay, and there we go. So if it still hasn't opened up and we're still having problems with it, then the next thing to do is again, go into settings. So let's just go across to settings there. Okay, and then go to uninstall. So go to uninstall there. And it says, are you sure you want to uninstall it? Yes, we've uninstalled, highlighted, press the middle button on the remote control and let it uninstall. Okay, once it's uninstalled, press the picture of the house on the remote control to get you back to the main menu. And then we want to do another restart on the Fire Stick. So again, grab your remote control, press and hold the play pause button whilst pressing and holding the middle button on the remote control, the OK or the confirm button, whatever you want to call it, until this message appears, then let go. Okay, let your Fire Stick restart. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video until the Fire Stick's restarted. Okay, so the Fire Stick has restarted. So what we wanna do is we wanna reload the app. So reload it from wherever you got it from. If it was from the App Store, then if you've got the old UI, then you should see a magnifying glass up there in the top left-hand corner. If you've got the new UI like myself, then you can go across to find and then down to search and uh, let's just search for that again. So it was X space P, there you go, explore just down there. Okay, and uh, we highlight the, uh, the, the app just there, press the middle button on the remote control and then 
press the middle button again and let it download and this bit might take a bit of time just depends on the speed of your internet connection and the speed of your fire tv stick there you go so it's now installing on mine and then once it's installed press the middle button on the remote control and hopefully again it will open and like i say if it asks you for any to allow any access to files on your device then uh, if it's a reputable app it's okay to say allow to it so we just press the middle button on the remote control so there you go that guide gives you a few suggestions on how to fix a broken app on your fire tv stick i hope this guide helps and if you can think of any other ways that uh, I could improve on this guide, then please don't forget to comment below. If you've found a way that works for you, comment below and share it with everyone else. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.